being able to defend yourself using non-lethal weapons. That's the message a local woman's self-defense course is teaching. And joining me this morning with more on how you can join in the class, Master Smith. Good morning to you, morning. and also Kali Asin. Good morning. Good morning. You've had uh, your Taekwondo Center for 30 years. You've been teaching, and also Kali, you've been doing this for decades now. Tell us about why it's important uh, for women to, to be empowered by doing this. Well, uh, sexual assault takes place every two minutes, and it's no secret that women are often targeted because of situational, situations that they're put in, mm -hmm. uh, coming home from work, school, college, college campuses, things like that. So it's important that they be able to develop situational awareness and be able to have the opportunity to protect themselves. And really all ages. Uh, it's not only for you know, older women who have gone through something like this. It's to, uh, almost to prevent things like this from happening. How do you get people to be confident? If I walked into the class, I think I'd be a little shy. How do you kind of comfort those people and get them to, to do these moves? Well, uh, it's building blocks. We start with one or two very simple moves, and we build off of that. And your confidence builds. And just like with the children, when the children come into our classes, they start at their very basic level and they start uh, developing more advanced techniques mm -hmm. and the more they feel like they can do this the better off they feel their confidence starts to grow and you just see it in their in their actions mm -hmm. and Kali as a woman tell us about how this has empowered you and helped you be more confident well the consistent training is key um, when like master Smith said as you're doing your building blocks mm -hmm. and you're gaining more and more um, confidence in your skills uh, it just becomes something that you know it's a lifestyle and you you just don't really think about um, the movement so much, but really um, how you're going to deal with a situation or threat when it happens. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's developing that confidence, that mindset that there's a real threat. I need to respond appropriately and, and get home. I mean, right. at the end of the day, it's about getting home to your family, being right. safe that way. Right. And if people want to join in, an event happening next Saturday, tell us a little bit about that. We have a uh, non lethal weapon self defense seminar next Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 30 a.m. at Smith Taekwondo Center in Kaneohe. We're right across from Windward Dodge. And what this class is going to focus on, there are, there are a lot of women that don't want to get out and do martial arts and things like that. So what we're doing is we're actually teaching them how to properly use non lethal weapons such as pepper spray, their keys have situational awareness. Uh, the main priority for the average person isn't to stand there and fight and start to throw all these different martial mm -hmm. arts techniques. It's to get away. Right. It's just to get you away and get you a safe place where you can inform the authorities, mm -hmm. call 911, and uh, protect yourself. Right. And we have a little bit of time to tell us about that small pepper spray you were showing me earlier. It's not the real pepper spray, but you can actually practice. What you would do with it is actually sprayed in a Z form. Exactly. I would think aim for the eyes, but that might not be effective. Well, the, the reason that you don't aim exactly for mm -hmm. the eyes is because when somebody's moving, it's going to be hard to hit such a small target. Right. And if you spray a Z pattern, I'm going to hit something that's going to affect them, whether right. it's their respiratory system or their visual acuity. Um, it's it's going to work that yeah. way. And there's a variety of sizes, but there's a lot of misconceptions about pepper spray. Mm -hmm. So you might see police officers or military personnel carrying something like this, a right. large canister. And this is actually more designed for bears. So, <laughs> right. Not really people, but <laughs> that'll, that'll great definitely tips. work. Of course, you're going to bring that up in your seminar Absolutely. coming up next Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, you can go to our website, KITV.com, and find out how you can join in. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this you. morning. All right. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be practicing.